Okay, I'm going to make a homemade brush washer out of this glass jar. And this is a tuna fish can. And I'm going to start by putting a bunch of holes in this can with a nail. Okay, so I'm all finished with that. And um, so anyway, you can put it into your jar. And I'm going to fill this one up with walnut oil uh, and use that. I, I usually use Gamsol. That's what is uh, in my old my old washer in here is Gamsol. But um, I'm going to see. I've heard that uh, you can use the, the um, a drying oil also. And then you don't have to deal with the fumes from the from the paint thinners. And you can buy these the, the, a similar thing in the store, and they're maybe between five and ten dollars each. But um, most people have the material around their house to to make one at home for free. So why not? Okay, so this is the brush washer that I just made, and now I'm going to wash one of my brushes in it. Um, what, to start cleaning my brushes, I like to I like to blot out the extra paint in a paper towel, and then I I, I um, run the brush over the can, the upside down can at the top. And so each day, when I come out and paint, the top will be pretty clear again, and the sediment will be on the bottom. And as long as there's um, something to separate my paintbrush from the sediment on the bottom, I won't stir it all up again. The next step, after rinsing them in Gamsol or, or walnut oil, is to wash them with some Murphy's Wood Oil soap. I usually just pour some into the, the glass that was holding the brushes and I swirl it around in my hand. I, I, it's a good idea to wear a, a protective glove. Um, and it's very important to get as much of the paint out of the ferrule as you can because it'll build up in there and Eventually, it'll make the bristles kind of kind of stick out. So I just do it like that until no more color comes out, and then it's probably pretty pretty good. So I twirl it around. And it's, it's good to be kind of gentle. I, I know I've seen people really scrub it, but that will probably make your brush lose its shape. Okay, and then I rinse it. I rinse it with sort of warm, not, not hot, but a little bit warm water is okay, I think. I've heard that you're supposed to use cold water, but uh, because it'll make the bristles, bristles fall out. But I have not ever had that happen. I use warm water, and um, and that's it. And you can, when the br bristles are wet, it's not a bad idea to you know try to put it back to its point if you can the bristles will kind of stick together from the water. And I, you know I've heard of, that people sometimes dry them pointing down like there's a clip or something they can attach it to. Um, I haven't tried that but I've heard that that's, that can be helpful. Um, you never want to store them with, with you know resting on the bristles because that will that will permanently bend bend them okay that's
that's it.